Making a YouTube thumbnail is probably way easier than you could ever imagine. We're going to be using a software called Canva. So if you don't have your free Canva account, you can get that in my description or head over there to canva.com right now and sign up for your free account. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like tutorials like this, so I can show you Canva and I can show you a bunch of other different types of software to help you create and sell digital and physical products. Now, once you have your free account over here at canva.com, we're gonna go right here where it says create a design. And when you click there, you're going to see all these different options of things that you can create. And the easiest way to find the exact dimensions of the YouTube thumbnail is to just type in YouTube right here on the search bar. You're going to see YouTube banner, YouTube logo, all that jazz. And you're going to go right down here to YouTube thumbnail and click there. This is going to give you the perfect dimensions. You're not going to have to crop or adjust the size of your thumbnail picture. Now I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you a way that you can already use templates that are proven to help convert people into clicking on your videos on YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail completely from scratch. Now, if you're wanting to use one of their templates, of Canvas templates that they've already created for you. All you have to do, you're already um, on the design tab, you're already on the templates, and all you need to do is scroll down here. And as you can see, you have so many different options. And if you actually go back to YouTube, you can look at other people's thumbnails and see what they're using. You can see um, channels that are getting tons of views and you can see uh, thumbnails that they have used or created so that you can start getting inspiration on what thumbnails you want to do for your channel. Now, if you see the thumbnails that I've been using currently, <laughs> they're pretty bright, they're pretty vibrant. And I use Canva for all of my thumbnails. I just find it super duper easy. And and if you come up here, it says recently used, and I'll show you some of the ones that I've been playing with. It's all of these ones right here. And these, like I said, I recently used these and all I did for one of my uh, thumbnail videos is I, this is a template that Canva created. So I just click it, boom, it already puts it on there. Now this isn't me. So what I want to do is I want to upload a photo of me. So I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to click delete. And then over here in my uploads, I've already uploaded a photo of myself that I'm going to put right over here. So I'm just going to scroll down and find one that I want to insert here. I'm just gonna add in my photo here. Now, if I want to reposition it, I can just go over here to position and I can say, you know, do I wanna, or I can go here to flip, I can redo the position and put it wherever I want on my canvas. Flip, I can flip horizontally, I can flip vertically, I can do pretty much whatever I want. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna come over here. We can even go back to our template design and let's say we're halfway through and we're like, mm, I'm not feeling this one. I'm gonna go back to templates. So I'm gonna go back to all the different types of templates. We'll scroll down and we'll see if we can find one that maybe we want to use instead. So let's say we want maybe to do this one. So I'm going to click on that template. It's going to replace the template that I had previously. And I'm going to insert my photo. Since it's my channel, I'm just going to adjust the size there. And then we have this little emoji. It really depends on what the video is about, of course, so we can customize our text. Now, if you can see my photo is in front of my text and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my text here and highlight that. I'm gonna come up to position and then I'm gonna say forward. And if you can see, see how I'm doing that forwards and backwards, it brings the text in front of my arm. That's great. <laughs> and so, um, we can either say like, yeah, I'll just keep this text or we can do something else. We can say, Canva hacks that'll blow your mind. And if I want to get rid of this, I can, I can click on this and I can make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to adjust the text to where it fits the way that I want it to. Now to adjust the background of this text that's already there, I'm going to go over here to effects. So we have the text highlighted and then I'm going to click on effects. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. And if you can see right here, this is the effect that is selected. So where it has like the background behind the letters. And then this is the color that they're using. So I'm just gonna click on that color and I can change it to whatever color I want. 
So if I want it more on brand, if I want to make it pop, I can do whatever, whatever I want. So there's that. And I'm going to probably adjust this picture because this doesn't really go with, <laughs> with anything that I'm talking about. Um, so if I want to adjust this picture, I have two options. I can put a picture that's mine that I've already uploaded over here in the upload section, or I can come over here to elements and I can find a photo because Canva has tons of free photos that we can use. So I can put a photo back there. So let's say, I don't know, let's say we want a photo of trees. So we're going to type in trees in the search bar. We're on elements, trees, and we'll go over here to photos. And we're going to say, I want like a real photo of trees or like mountains, or this doesn't go with anything that I'm talking about. But just to show you what that kind of looks like, I could even say an office and we'll do photos of an office. So maybe we drag and drop this photo over here. We can position it differently. We can make it look really however we want. If we want to adjust the background of this template, we just click on the background, come up here to the color, boom, change it to a totally different color. Now what I would do, my recommendation for this is if I have this orange back here, I probably don't want this to be yellow. Um, I feel like orange is a nice bright color. So maybe I want to adjust the background of this color a little bit more. So again, we're going to go over to effects. We're going to change this so it pops against that orange background. These are contrasting colors, so that pop really helps. Now this graphic here in the background, we are going to change as well. So we need to highlight this kind of first, I guess you could say. And so we're just going to click it, come over here to the color and scroll down and change it to whatever color we want. Totally up to us what, what we want to do, right? Maybe we do that. And here's our emoji. This is the last little section. Um, our emojis, again, we're going to go over here to elements and we're going to say emoji. And then you get all these different emoji options. We're going to say see all. And if we want a different emoji, like we don't want a laughing one, maybe we want the stars. So I'm going to delete that. Downsize this, twist, and we're good to go. So that's how you would customize a template. Um, this probably isn't one that I would use on my channel, but just to give you an idea of how the different tools work here. Now, if I want to create a template or create a design completely from scratch, I'm just gonna go here to create new page. So here's one that's completely from scratch. Now, before I even go into creating one from scratch, I want to head over to YouTube and just get some inspiration about what is working for people over here. Like, what are the um, thumbnails that are really standing out, ones that make me really want to click and see what's going on? So anything that has big letters, I'm attracted to that. I think that would be really cool to click on. If you can see, these letters are very bold. They're very attention getting. So we have the person and then we have the um, words or the title or different keywords. See, look at this bright and bold with the face. Okay. So we know that we probably need my face on there somewhere. We probably need big, bold text. Look at that. See, big, bold text and a face. So that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to go back over to our design. I know that I need my face on there somewhere. I know I need bright colors and I also know that we need text on there. So it's very similar to this kind of layout here, the ones that get the big clicks, but we're gonna make it a different one. So we could even, if we want to, we have a starting place, right? So we could even go down here to font combinations and just scroll down. This would probably be one that would be good because it has that big, bold text, right? So big, bold text. The glow text, we saw that over there, remember? The glow text that was up here, boop, Canva. So we have that glow text. Maybe I'll do the glow text. That's what we're feeling today. So I'm gonna go over here to effects. We can adjust the intensity from the glow text to make it really look like the thumbnail that we just saw. And I can say Canva hacks. This actually might be a cool thumbnail at some point. <laughs> at some point, maybe we'll use this someday. We'll see. 
Uh, not yet, just a second. Okay. Almost done. Okay, so we have our text, we have our picture, this is good. Now for the background, um, for the background, I'm gonna go over here to elements and maybe I'll do the office again and we'll see what kind of options we have here. Oh, I do kind of like that. That's kind of fun. It has like that dreamy background, like what's going on. And if I wanna edit that, I'm gonna go here to edit photo and then we have all these different options. We have different filters that we can put on that photo. We can make it a little more colorful. Oh, I kind of like that. That's fun. Okay, so if I want to have my image stand out a little bit more, I'm going to duplicate it and I'll show you why. So we're going to copy and paste. I'm going to move this one over out of the way for a second. I'm going to click on that image that's in the back right now. And I'm going to go over here to edit photo. We're going to go into the old editor. You may see this or you may not. Not sure. But I'm going to click on see the old editor. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click glow. I'm going to double click so it clicks into it. And we're going to add that white outline. You probably have seen these on different videos. It really helps like your image to stand out. I'm gonna change that outline to white like that. And we can, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll say apply. Now, once we have that, we're gonna move our other image. We're gonna click and move our other image over and send it to the back. There we go. So it looks just like that. Now we have this blank space over here. So what we could either do, what we could do is we could either do something like this to kind of fill that space like so. Actually, I'm just, I like that. Let's just do that, but I don't like the background anymore. So I'm gonna go back to uh, elements, photos, and I'm just gonna go into, I like to do this one and I type in colors. And then we have all these different colors in the background. You'll probably see me use this one a lot just because I like it. Um, but we can select any of these colors that we think is really gonna help us stand out. Ooh, this one's a dark one, I like that. So we can say Canva hacks like that. And then if we want to add any, um, again, if we wanna do the emojis, we can do that. You just type an emoji. That's kind of cute. Maybe we do something like this over here. We do something like that. Maybe we'll do another one. And we'll just start filling up that space a little bit. I'm just gonna rotate it around. And that's how we do it. <laughs> So let me know if this was helpful for you in the comments, if you have any other questions or um, any, if you have any other questions about creating your thumbnail or how to do something on Canva, let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.